So the project is to understand the impact of senescent cells in the brain, uh, particularly after radiation, which is something that we do to treat patients who have brain tumours. I went into neurosurgery in part because you know, we've had a terribly difficult time coming up with drugs that work for neurodegenerative diseases. There's not a single drug we have available for Alzheimer's. And aging is something that happens to all of us and it's the most common risk factor for neurodegenerative diseases. We need access to the brain to be able to solve this problem. We're not smart enough to be able to do it if we can't get to the brain. Radiation, as it turns out, is something that we do for the patients that I treat surgically. And it's something that it turns out it's a very good model for aging. Using the the grant from Regenerative Medicine Minnesota, we're going to see whether or not the senescent cells have a negative impact on cognitive performance and on neurogenesis, and whether or not those are just senescent cells in the brain or potentially also senescent cells elsewhere in the body that could negatively impact the brain. The ultimate goal of my research project is to be able to have people undergo treatment for brain tumors, for example, radiation and chemotherapy, but maintain the cognitive function that they had prior to that treatment. At the moment, people who live a long time after brain tumors have pretty significant loss of cognitive performance, and that's something we'd like to be able to get fixed. The grant from Regenerative Medicine Minnesota allows us to figure out whether or not by getting rid of senescent cells in the brain, we can improve cognitive performance. Thank you.